America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the treachery of Benedict Arnold. General Benedict Arnold married Peggy Shippen in April 1779, and they soon hatched a plan to make money by betraying their country. They sent word to Peggy's friend, the British spy chief, Major John Andre that Arnold was willing to provide military secrets to the British for a price. Initially, Arnold sent general reports on colonial militias and the Continental Army to Major Andre and his boss, Sir Henry Clinton. Arnold informed them that this was a business deal, and Arnold wanted an upfront guarantee of 10,000 British pounds. Clinton was skeptical of Arnold's intentions and wanted more than just general information. What he wanted most were specific details on Fortress West Point, the most important military post in North America. By midsummer, Arnold seemed to lose interest in his deception and stopped corresponding with Clinton. Only Peggy kept the lines of communication open, assuring him that the deal was not dead. Then, on April 6th, General Washington issued a written reprimand of Arnold for some questionable decisions Arnold made while in charge of the city of Philadelphia, and Arnold was devastated. In a separate letter, Washington reminded General Arnold that someone like him, who was held in such high regard by his fellow citizens, must be especially careful of his conduct. Within weeks, Arnold renewed his correspondence with Clinton, informing him that Arnold expected soon to be named commander of Fortress West Point. This was a lie, as General Washington had not promised Arnold anything, but Arnold planned to manipulate his way into the position. Next week, we will discuss Benedict Arnold's scheme going awry. Until next time, May your love of country lead you.